so I'm pretty sure my mother doesn't um, watch Instagram pretty sure and she's been bugging me since I started on my sausage making journey um, her obsession is uh, like peppered salami and uh, she kept asking when are you gonna do peppered salami and I said that there was no way I could do it because there they are these like specialty pepper lined muslin casings that you can order only order by like a sea can full out of Austria and uh, I looked and I looked and I looked and I found a company out of New York that would ship me a couple and so I ordered four and I figured I'd I'd take a stab at these and they're supposed to uh, you know you stuff your 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 salami mix inside of them and then as they uh, the the inside of the casing is lined with um, like a vegetable grade uh, paste like a glycerin paste and then there's like a pepper coating and you stuff your meat in it and at like 120 degrees about apparently that it just is supposed to release from the muslin casing and all I have to do is pull this to release it so I cooked it I smoked it cooked it and, uh, and then I cooled it for a little bit and here we go so here's the, the theoretical release of the Kraken so far so good Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> so I have a very beautiful, give, uh, give this a bit of a pat down here, I have what appears to be a very lovely peppered salami. Look at that, that's super fascinating. I had zero illusions that this would work, so this was uh, the plan for Mother's Day and uh, so I used a recipe out of the Raitek Kuta sausage making book and I think, I think it was just for like plain plain venison salami but I used some of that uh, Highland cow beef that I got and uh, yeah so there's one there's one done I don't know if we want to do the like reveal up close of the second one so here's the here's the tab here we go oh, super fun Wow. Now I will say that I haven't actually tried this recipe quite yet. Um, there's nutmeg and white pepper and garlic in here and uh, some uh, non-fat powdered milk as the binder and moisture content kind of keeper in her. Um, looks like in the bottom of the casing maybe like a little bit of the melted fat kind of absorbs into it but but again like that peppered coating is like super good it seems to stick on there so I'm just going to let these, um, in the uh, sausage making vernacular, I'm going to let these bloom on, um, on the counter for a little while. And uh, yeah, it just kind of gives like, gives the time of the sausage some time to rest now that it's cooled down. And that's it. So yeah, like you can see on the casing that like the pepper just, yeah, like peels right off. Maybe what I should do is dig, dig one of these things out. So 
I looked, yeah, like I looked on the internet for instructions. There was none. There didn't seem to be any sort of like forums on the sausage smoking site. So here's like a plain one. You can see just muslin sewn and then you kind of just stuff, stuff it on your sausage thing. And if you look really closely on the inside, hard to do with gloves. You can kind of see the, you can kind of see that the, the pepper crust is adhered to the outside. So you kind of stuff it on your stuffer, stuff it full of meat. And I let mine cure in the fridge overnight because this is a cured sausage and then smoked, but it's not a dry cure because um, I cooked it. So I got it to about 154 degrees before I pulled it. So fingers crossed that she likes this uh, peppered salami for Mother's Day. <laughs>